Hello, Mr. Grayson. My name is Dr. Sri Pratap Mohanamurthy, and I'm one of the psychiatric doctors working in the team. I understand that you've been tried on different antidepressants in the past for your depression. You're not having much success with this treatment, so you wanted to explore the new treatment option called as TMS. Let me explain what is RTMS and how does it work? RTMS stands for Repetitive Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. I can write this down for you later. TMS is a new treatment for psychiatric and neurological conditions that uses magnetic fields to stimulate the brain. TMS involves an electromagnetic coil which is a piece of equipment that produces a magnetic field which is strong enough to affect the things around it being placed near a part of a person's scalp. This coil produces magnetic waves or pulses that stimulates the brain tissue underneath it. When used over areas associated with depression, it is thought that this stimulation reactivates certain areas of the brain that have reduced activity due to depression. It is also thought that TMS can lead to the brain re-establishing helpful connections that have been weakened during depression. Let me now explain what does the treatment practically involve. TMS usually involves an individual attending an outpatient's unit. Each session can last for up to 30 minutes. You have to attend five days a week for a period of four to six weeks. So for a total of around 20 to 30 sessions. As mentioned before, the treatment involves an electromagnetic coil which is being placed over the scalp and this is usually placed over a close fitting cap. The person receiving the treatment is usually awake. They usually sit in a reclining chair for the entire duration of the treatment. Some people find the treatment rather loud and can feel a tapping sensation in their head. So they're often asked to wear earplugs during the treatment procedure. Before and after the session, the staff at the unit usually check on the individual's well-being and we also check on physical parameters like blood pressure, pulse and oxygen levels. During the treatment, you may not have any pain or suffering and it is a very safe procedure. Now let's see how effective it is. TMS is an effective treatment for depression and studies suggest that 30 to 60 percent of people will benefit from magnetic stimulation. It is helpful for people who have less severe depressive episodes, non-psychotic depression and those taking antidepressants, non-bipolar depression and in some treatment resistant forms of depression. When we start the treatment, most people seem to notice benefits just after the second week of standard treatment. Now let's look into the potential side effects. TMS appears to be generally well tolerated and most patients do not experience any significant side effects. The most common side effect is a mild and temporary headache that can usually be managed with common painkillers. Other relatively common side effects are some discomfort over the areas that was stimulated and some people complain of dizziness and also increased tear production from the eye on the side of the head that was actually stimulated. Rare side effects that have been reported include seizures but that is 1 in 30 to 1 in 60,000 people. Due to the risk of seizures, TMS is generally not preferred in people with the history of epilepsy. Now, most people wonder whether they should continue their medication during treatment. We strongly recommend that most people should continue their usual antidepressant medication before and after treatment unless specified by the treating doctor. Now, let us look at the precautions that are needed before treatment. 
before the TMS session, people need to remove jewelry, mobile phones, debit cards, credit cards, and other kind of metal items as these can be affected by the magnetic field. If a patient has a pacemaker, this can be affected too. Now let's look into the contraindications for TMS. People who have unremovable metal items in or near their head or neck cannot receive TMS due to the risk of being affected by the magnetic fields. This includes stents, coils, metallic implants, metal foreign bodies, but people with standard amalgam fillings can still receive TMS treatment. People generally tend to ask if they can drive following the treatment. We generally expect most people to continue their usual daily activities before and after the treatment session including driving. The only exception is for the first session in case any individual experiences significant side effects. People can eat and drink as usual before and after the sessions. Let's also see what happens after a course of treatment finishes. The aim of TMS in depression is to achieve significant improvement in symptoms. If an individual experiences relapse of symptoms where the symptoms comes back again, then a short top-up course can be offered to address the symptoms of relapse. Some patients also benefit from long-term maintenance treatment where they may require higher number of sessions and this can be offered if felt to be necessary. Lastly, people are um, keen to know like which conditions can TMS be used for? TMS is most commonly used to treat depression, but there is also lots of evidence for its use in anxiety disorders and obsessive compulsive disorders. It is being researched for potential use in addiction and substance misuse, autistic spectrum disorder, schizophrenia with negative symptoms, and post-traumatic stress disorder. It is also being researched and used for neurological conditions like Parkinsonism. I hope that I have answered most of your questions. I can also offer you some information leaflets about TMS. If you have any queries, please get back to me and I can clarify your questions. Thank you for listening.